guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I wanted to talk about how I lost the baby weight I'm so excited because I woke up this morning I stepped on a scale which isn't something I do all the time but I definitely like to weigh myself at least every week when I'm trying to lose weight um, and I am back down to my pre-pregnancy size so just a little backstory I gained 25 pounds with my pregnancy about um, so normally I weigh 128 pounds that's like my normal weight and I am 5'4". It took me a while to lose the extra 15 pounds. I am six months postpartum and I definitely didn't like lose the baby weight super quick like some women. So it took me a while and I think that's just because I wasn't really preoccupied with like looking at my weight. It was honestly only until she became like five months old that I really started to look at like the foods that I was eating and how bad I was eating um, coming off of my you know third trimester like eating everything in sight problem. But I feel like there's this myth that breastfeeding is just gonna help you you know shed a bunch of calories which it does because you I think you lose like a 500 calories a day when you're breastfeeding or something ridiculous it's a lot um, but for me and for a lot of other women breastfeeding is definitely not the end-all be-all to like losing your postpartum weight you have to like I don't know you have to just eat better and eat the right foods in general I hate to say it but I'm not really into like super foods and eating super clean I like my McDonald's I like my soda I know this is really bad but I'm being honest with you guys um, I am not the biggest fan of working out especially when you have a baby and you haven't really worked out like religiously before your baby it's gonna be hard to work out when you have a baby so you're just not used to it and your attention is all on them all the time so yeah this is basically a guide to me losing weight but a guide for regular women that need to lose a few pounds and don't have time to like go to the gym or they don't have time to run like five miles a day or do juice cleanses or people that don't want to eat quinoa and I don't know all the other crazy foods that youtubers are eating nowadays to get fit and be healthy props to them I'm totally not knocking it but this is like a regular girls guide to weight loss so yeah that is my long-winded intro but I also wanted to say before I start the video that today I'm collaborating with another youtuber I actually found her because I created like this secret little private Facebook group it's not private anymore but for my YouTube subscribers and I will link it below if you guys want to join it you have to be like accepted into the group but on that Facebook group I asked you know who has YouTube channels and who I should watch and she linked her YouTube channel and I love when you guys link your YouTube channels because I always end up watching your videos because I like to watch different people rather than the same like five youtubers all the time but her channel is M Wilson fit fam and you guys she is such an inspiration we were chatting on Facebook and she told me that she lost 65 pounds on Weight Watchers so she was losing her postpartum mommy weight um, so she's also doing a what I eat a day video so I'll go ahead and link her channel along with her video down below please go ahead and subscribe to her channel she has amazing videos she does like day in the life what I eat a day type videos and she tracks everything through the Weight Watchers points which when I lost weight I was calorie counting so it's kind of like similar in that way but all of her meals are really attainable they're like super easy to make you don't have to have a bunch of ingredients to make them and I just love her personality she's so cute so yeah go ahead and subscribe to her channel to watch her videos and let's go ahead and get on with this one so for coffee I like to get the giant pack from Costco of the Kirkland Pacific bold um, it's just like a dark roast coffee and so the thing with me is I don't know a lot of people are telling me that I should put almond milk in my coffee um, you know maybe like swap out creamer with sugar because it's like you know cleaner for you even though sugar is not that good I want to make things attainable and at first I tried to like just put milk in my coffee and I just like could not enjoy it it was just not I don't know I wanted to do everything in moderation so I didn't want to completely change my lifestyle right away so anyways I like to use in my coffee three tablespoons which I like more cream than coffee not really but um this hazelnut creamer from sprouts and it's lactose free um it's definitely not healthy for you I already know but that's just what I like to do and I also count everything on my fitness pal on like an app I'm not the biggest counter of calories like I have never counted my calories until I wanted to lose my postpartum weight and the only reason I did that was because I really wanted to know like what foods were really bad and high in calories and just like foods I should stay away from I didn't restrict myself in any way because I am breastfeeding so I think you get like 400 extra calories a day so I tried to eat around like the 13 to 1400 calorie mark for my height and like 
like how much I wanted to lose. So the next thing I do is she has her first nap of the day and I'll have a premier protein drink. These things fill me up. Like if I have one of these things for breakfast instead of breakfast, cause it's like a meal replacement drink, I won't want to eat until like one or 2 PM. Like it is amazing. It's like a crazy, powerful energy drink and I love it. It has 160 calories so it's really low but also has 30 grams of protein. So I make sure that whenever I have one of these bad boys that I walk around the block or I run. I try to walk or run two to three miles four days a week when I was losing weight. I kind of like tapered off this last week because I've lost the weight I wanted to lose and it's so hot in LA right now. Um, but yeah when I was trying to really lose weight I was walking two to three miles with the baby. So I've been waiting for like five minutes for everyone to walk away from their car so I can vlog because it's super awkward. Um, anyway, so I'm at Trader Joe's. We're about to go buy some groceries and I'm eating some almonds. So the thing with almonds that I did not realize is that they are super high in calories and that's something that I learned like when I started tracking my calories. Basically I just have like a small little like uh, handful that fits in the palm of my hand um, and I actually learned that from an Instagram account that I will link below but I am obsessed with his account like you guys need to go follow him. Um, his name is Carter Good and yeah he basically just posts like calorie comparisons and just things that you would not realize that have like high in calories. He posts one yesterday about IHOP pancakes. They have like this harvest grain pancake um, that you would think would be super healthy, but I think like a stack of four pancakes is like 1600 calories and then like the chocolate chip pancakes were like way lower in calories than the healthy ones. So yeah, you just don't realize like how certain foods are actually bad for you, especially when you're eating out. Annabelle looks a little bit too big for her Basie baby. Are you cramped in there? Uh. Oh. Okay, so I just got back and this is what I'm having for lunch. I get these little two packs for, I think it's like $4.99 from Costco. Um, so they're not, I mean, you could obviously save money or save more money at making them your own. But today I just did not have time because I was out and about doing a lot of errands. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat one of these. I got the Santa Fe style, but I also have, they're really good. Um, I also have a blueberry, walnut, and feta. And then this one's so good. It's the ultimate BLT. They all have like 280 calories. So yeah, super um, light on the calories and they're pretty yummy. Okay, so for dinner we have these, I don't even know what they're called. They're like half burrito, half taco things. But I have seasoned taco. It's like taco seasoning with turkey, which I usually don't eat turkey. I always have ground beef. But I got turkey because apparently it's leaner and healthier. And then I just have grilled onion and bell pepper. I put feta cheese because we ran out of cheddar, lettuce and tomato and salsa. Hey guys, so it is a lot later now and Doug actually has to work late so it feels weird not having him in a vlog even though this is kind of like a what I eat video. Um, Annabelle fell asleep in her dog tot which is amazing because that never happens nowadays. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that when I was pregnant I used to have a giant bowl of cereal after dinner which seriously adds up the calories. So now I just have a cup and a half and this is just Trader Joe's vanilla almond clusters. They're not my favorite but Doug likes them so I got it for us to share. So yeah, that is what I'm having tonight and I'm just having it with skim milk. Um, but yeah, that is about it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Emily's channel. I will link it below and if you guys are new, please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!